you so much for everybody who has subscribed to my channel and thank you for everyone who keeps on coming back for more of these um welcome back if you're new here my name is Malibu Homatoma. today i just wanted to give an update on my hair because it has been a long time and i did promise that not promise per se because i don't like making promises i did mention that i'm going to be giving three monthly updates or four so yeah i think i'm just around that time so i thought i should come back here and give an update of how my hair is right now so um this is how my hair is right now this is a protective hairstyle i asked um a friend of mine yesterday to do my hair so um what i'd say is right now i'm focusing on doing protective hairstyles more than other hairstyles protective hairstyles are your twists out as well as um african threading this is african threading yeah these are the hairstyles i'm gonna be focusing on because i'm trying to like be gentle on my hair and i thought to change my routine just a bit not too much i'm still using the same old products that i showed in my previous hair hair video so if you haven't checked it out, I'll link it up somewhere there so that you can go check it out and see the products that I use. But right now, I've currently included a co-wash into my routine and a leave-in conditioner and the MPL vitamin E oil. So yeah, those are the two I'd say I had introduced into my routine because I want to try it out. I wanted to try using less shampoo because it has sulfates in it. So I wanted to tone down on the shampoo use and focus on co-washing and then when I see too much buildup in my hair, that's when I will include a shampoo into my routine. So yeah, that is what I've been doing right now. So I'm gonna um, unplug these just to show you guys how far my hair has grown. So yeah, I think I'm currently on my 10th month right now, almost a year with my hair and I'd say um, my hair has grown yeah I feel like it would have grown longer I would have liked it if it would have grown longer but like I'm still left with two months it's still two months ahead so let me not um, discard it just yet but like again the main thing is you should f I focus I want to focus on growing healthy hair and the length will come up just as a bonus because i'm trying to not let this hair thing get to me i need to focus on the health of my hair first and then the length will follow suit so yes that is the mandate that i've set for my hair is malabo you focus on healthy hair focus on ensuring that your hair is healthy i haven't actually done a trim i haven't trimmed my hair yet um, I don't know, I think I'll trim it when it clocks a year. It's gonna clock a year probably in, in July because I chopped my hair, I big chopped my hair in July, July the 10th, 10th, 11th, around there. Last year, last year, 2021, that's when I big chopped my hair. So yeah, so let me unravel these and check. Okay, this is a stretching method. Um, African threading is a hair stretching method because I want to minimize on using heat as much as I can. Because I don't attend a lot, I don't have any, I don't have a lot of physical lessons. I... I have mostly online lessons it allows me to keep my hair longer in protective hairstyles and it allows me to not manipulate it a lot so yeah because when you manipulate your hair a lot you can it tends to like mess with the hair it can break the hair so yeah the, the goal to having health hair is less manipulation. Um, yeah, just focus on manipulating your hair less. To do that, you can do hairstyles like these ones. And 
if you don't want to blow dry your hair because blow drying my hair hey 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 blow drying my hair I, i've realized that it really leaves it crunchy and the blow out doesn't last for long and basically it defeats the whole purpose so yeah and it's painful it's really painful more so that the ladies at the saloon <laughs> they really don't they really aren't gentle on natural hair which is crazy because they know very well that our hair texture is very painful and you'd expect them to be gentle with it but they don't they aren't that's why i switched to um learning new hairstyles to maintain my hair so yeah to avoid all of that discomfort so yes let me unravel these and then yeah i'll get back to chit chatting more <laughs> Um, and the other thing is last year December I colored my hair yeah I dyed my hair um, using the Inecto hair dye in the sh color um, chocolate hot chocolate so yeah I just wanted to try something different with my hair just some color cuz I really love the natural hair color black being black but uh, it's also nice I want to try something different cuz I never really color my hair even though yeah it is damaging um i wouldn't advise it so yeah so now i like this transition here this ombre transition that i'm seeing here well, there's the black and then there's the black and then there's the hot chocolate color i wonder if it's visible but yeah I'm gonna pick it out with this afro comb oh and I switched to using this afro comb this metal afro comb because um, the plastic one it was very harsh on my hair it was very painful I couldn't bear it my scalp couldn't bear um, this one because it has wider teeth um, in comparison to this one this one just you know it it gets in there it really gets in there and yeah it's not as painful as this one so yeah I bought this yesterday as you can see it has grown and yeah I'm just happy that my hair is healthy and I know I'm not neglecting it as much as I know I usually do or did in my previous hair journey. I'm gonna take um, this strand, this much hair, and I'm gonna showcase and take off my lashes. I'm gonna showcase where my hair is now. Um, yeah, that is where my hair is how far it has grown and one thing I've realized is um, hair here grows much faster than hair here at the back and the textures are different um, 
so yeah so um during the first few months of my hair journey um i would cut this hair here i would cut it because i feel like it's growing much faster than this side of my hair so i would trim it not cut but trim it down so that it's in proportional growing in proportional to my hair here hair that's growing on my sides and at the back so yeah basically that is how long my hair is now it is really grown it is really grown i have to do a protective styling because the winter season is almost here well it's basically here but like you know pre-winter whatever <laughs> going from now onwards i'm just going to be focusing on um maximizing on low manipulation low manipulation hairstyles and african hairstyles so yeah i just wanted to start trying out african hairstyles because as of watched and observed over the years um african hairstyles have really grown out healthy hair so i wanted to <sighs> include that into my regime and just tone down on the braids as well as re very tight straining hairstyles so yeah be on the lookout for any hairstyle that i might be inspired to do and try out that is all that i had for you guys today i hope you did like this video and if you did and you have any questions i'd like to like ask based off of my initial hair growth please be sure to comment down below ask anything at all that you wish to ask so yes um thank you so much for watching the video bye